Are you ready to find out more about this new recurring notifications option that Messenger has available for your chatbot? Well, hang on to your hats because the acronym for this is NTN. And Messenger Funnels, my company, has been building these solutions, providing these solutions to our clients during the beta period that we've been testing out for Facebook over the past about six months. And we have some incredible results that we can share with you. But before I get there, let's talk about what this is and how it works. So you know that in the past, it back way back in 2017, when uh, all of this hoopla started, late 2016, uh, we could basically message anyone anytime for any reason through our chat bots on ManyChat or ChatFuel. Then unfortunately, marketers kind of got a hold of this thing and went a little berserk with it and uh, basically did exactly that, messaged anybody about anything for any reason and spammed a lot of people. So Facebook started putting restrictions on us. The first restriction was 24 plus one rule. So this 24 plus one rule was basically enacted saying that we could only message our subscribers within 24 hours since the last time they interacted with our bots, plus one more time for good measure. Then, of course, Facebook took away the plus one. And now we have only within 24 hours can we send any kind of message, any kind, sales message, marketing message, uh, any kind of message uh, within 24 hours from the last time that your subscriber interacted with your bot. Unless you fit one of three particular criteria that related to three message tags that you could add to your message. Well, now we have the NTN. And this is basically the next version of the OTN, if you were familiar with one-time notifications, which is what OTN stands for. So we had this 24-hour rule. And then instead of the plus one, basically we had to get permission, explicit permission from our subscribers to send one more message outside of that 24 hour period. And that's what the OTN represents. Well, now this N time notification, NTN is what we have now. So there are three options for this NTN. The first option, if you get explicit permission to send messages only on a specific topic that the subscriber gives you permission to send messages about, then you can send one message each day for 30 days outside of those 24 hours, or one message each week for three months, or one message each month for one year. So you need to get explicit perm permission and tell your subscribers which of those three things you are getting their permission to message them with. Once you get that permission, you can now use this new tool for what most of my clients do. Um, my, most of my clients are coaches and course creators and membership uh, leaders, mentors, uh, e-commerce, SaaS companies. And these people conduct challenges uh, to provide um, knowledge and let people learn really what it is they do. So challenges, webinars, uh, those kinds of things are perfect for this NTN. Many of my clients do five-day challenges, 14-day challenges, 21-day challenges, and even one with 30-day challenge. And this NTN perfectly allows us to now send those messages every day to remind them of the challenge content and follow up and request that they purchase if they're interested. And we can do that now with this NTN. The, uh, the benefits are obviously that we can provide the value that our subscribers have actually requested when they subscribe, but explicitly given us permission to do. So I'm going to take you through the basics of how to build this, how to add this to your bot, to your conversational marketing design. And hopefully you'll be able to do this to great effect for your clients, just like we have for ours. And I'll share with you the results when I'm done. All right. So let me share my screen and show you how this works. 
Okay, the first thing we need to do in order to use this new NTN feature is actually go to the Facebook business page that the chat bot is attached to and go to the settings tab and go to the advanced messaging tab. And then you're gonna scroll down to this OTN feature or this one-time notification. You're gonna request this feature if you haven't done so already. So as long as this check mark for the one-time notification is checked, then you should be ready for using to use this new feature. So now let's come in and I've come into the Bot Academy uh, message or your my uh, chat bot, my Bot Academy chat bot, and I'm going to show you how we can set this up. So the first thing you're going to do is have your normal starting step. As you can see, this is a test that I'm doing. And the first message is going to be sent within 24 hours because this is the first time they're engaging with your bot and they're choosing to engage. So however you're going to bring people into your bot, you do so the same way. Then you're going to welcome them. And just like you would do when you're going to request an email from them or a phone number from them for SMS purposes, you're going to request permission to message them during the time frame that you want or that you think is a beneficial for them for the products that they're uh, that they're watching your marketing for. So what you're going to do is you're going to add, and I have this one added here, but I'm going to add a new one. So here on the bottom of this uh, block, this message block, you're going to click re notification request. You do need to be a pro subscriber in ManyChat for this. Uh, so I'm going to click notification request, as you can see, and this is going to come up with a new block that's going to ask me for a topic. Now, select or create a topic. Here's where you need to be specific for whatever it is you are going to share, whatever type of information, whatever topic you're going to discuss with your subscribers. Here's where you can still get yourself in trouble from Facebook if you are so broad that you just want to message them about anything and you want to say, customer service, or you want to say your particular company name, then you start spamming people and messaging people about things. What's going to happen is people are going to start blocking your messages and you do not want people to block your messages. So you want to be kind. You want to do unto others as you would want them to do to you. You want to respect the fact that People are asking you for information and you want to be very respectful and non-spammy and transparent as you can with your messages. So what topic are you going to create? Let me just go ahead and create a new topic. And I believe I already have some of these in here, NTN uh, test monthly. All right. So let me, before I create that, I'm going to look for these topics. There we go. So let's do an, an NTN daily test, right? So that's the test. And so in here, you can see. If I move that, you can see it's going to say with this title, it, it says you may receive additional messages on this topic over the next six months. And it's going to say notify me, even though here it says get daily messages in the message, I believe it says notify me, at least that's what it looks like here. So you can add an image, you can do a title. And again, the title is going to have a limit to the number of characters. So uh, let's see. Okay, so I specifically put in here, this is not a title you would use, obviously, but I'm being clear on what this topic is. We can't wait to chat with you about NTN daily messages. And then I would probably say click notify me. I want to tell them to click that button. And this is the first thing I'm doing. I'm not asking for an email. I'm not asking for an SMS. I want to make sure that I can message these subscribers every single day for 30 days. That's most important to me. Then I don't probably need SMS as much, although I can definitely use conditional logic to make sure that anyone who hasn't given me this permission, then later I'm going to ask them for their phone number and then I'll be able to follow up with them in uh, SMS or email. All right. So that's kind of an example of how to use this. Um, as you can see, I already have it here. So we have uh, bootcamp permission. Welcome to my bot. I can't wait to see you on my training before you join me on the call. I need your permission to give you the link. Okay, so I'm telling them I need this in order to communicate with you. So I have an image and it's bootcamp permission to message. Get daily messages. Okay, this one says get daily messages. This has been published. So they have to click that in order to continue. And then I'm gonna tag them that they've given me permission. And then I'm going to go on and give them this, uh, this training information. Now, what I've done here, just to keep it uh, simple, is I've set a smart delay. And one day later, 
I'm going to send them a follow-up message. And this is what the follow-up message is going to allow you to do. This is the power of this NTN. I can now send a follow-up message without having to fit the three message tags that are available outside of the 24 hours. Because they've given me explicit permission, I can now set it outside of 24 hours if I need to, to send them a daily message. All right. So let's let, take a look at what that looks like once they've given you permission, how you can use that. All right. So let's edit this and look. So I've just put together a simple flow here. Uh, it's coming from another flow that we were just on the NTN test. So I'm saying, uh, so what do you think of the training yesterday? And here, send outside 24 hour window. And I'm saying the reason I can send to this outside the 24 hour window is because I've gotten this boot camp permission. This, uh, this uh, not one time, as you can see over here, these are one times. I have the daily boot camp, daily boot camp reason. That's what you need. You just need to start this message block with that reason. And now you can push this message to this subscriber outside of 24 hours since the last time they interacted with your bot. All right. That's how you do it. Then we're going to look, I typically set these up with uh, sequences. So I'll set up a sync sequence, whether it's a challenge sequence or a webinar sequence, whatever that might be. And if I go down here to the bottom, I'm gonna have a lot of test messages. Here's an evergreen five-day challenge. And I've got five messages and, uh, and this, uh, the click-through rate's wrong because there are some days they don't have to click anything. So that's not gonna be correct. But out of this five-day challenge, each of these days, I can go ahead and set, if I've gotten permission, I can set this challenge for the reason being that daily, uh, daily message topic. All right. I hope that helps. I hope that helps you understand the power, the real power of this message. And I hope you enjoy for however long we have it, messaging and engagement and sales as if it's 2017 again. <laughs>